Yeah, my tires are getting a little rounded on the edges on the front. I think I'm going to go out to my buddy's shop, get a free brake inspection, and have them rotate them to the back. The ones on the back are, yeah, they're a little wore down, but I think I can get another bit of uh, time out of them before it's time to change them out. So. Yeah, still got some life left to them. And the front one, yeah, this one's pretty well rounded as well, so. Alright, let's head on over to my buddy shop and we'll get these swapped around. Ah, another beautiful day. 51, that's been our low. Yeah, the weather's getting a bit crazy coming up this week. Ah, the house is coming along. Pretty much gutted and redoing it. I guess that's a thing now. People buy them dirt cheap and refurbish them, put all sorts of appliances in them and stuff, and sell them for like triple what they bought it for in some cases. So, what do we have here? Some trucks, some sort of utility trucks, I don't even know. But, yeah, man, this week. It's going to be like in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, looks like railroad trucks. Interesting. Uh, looks like they got the signs up and stuff. Might be closing the road here pretty soon as progress continues on uh, this new railroad crossing they're doing. The sign's covered up right now. And that's going to be inconvenient, but once it's done, it's going to be something that's needed to get done for a while. Yeah, we've got dump trucks, we got storm drains, we got all sorts of equipment, we got cars parked. Wow. Yeah, progress is coming along. Huh. So, anywho, yeah. I think uh, last week we hit 82, which was like... Uh, that shattered the record set back in 1976 of 76 degrees. And, yeah, this week we're hitting the mid to upper 60s. And I think we're even hitting... Uh, upper 70s, possibly closing in on 80 degrees again. And this is the middle of February here in the Carolinas. I mean, yeah, we have some warm temperatures once in a while, but not like this. I think we've hit 80 degrees in February only three other times. Well, of course, here just last week, once again in 2011, and before that it was 1930. So, yep. A bit crazy. We're on the old ruined boot. So, I think today we're going to be in the mid 60s. This rain clears out, but yeah, we are supposed to have a good bit of off and on shares moving through this week. So, got the signals are going to work with me. Nope, won't be able to make it. Well, darn. There you go, a little DUI mobile VIP on the side, isn't that something? There's a truckload of junk. Awesome. <laughs> All right, signal, yeah, people running the light, perfect. Yep. I know global warming's not happening. We're having 70s and 80s in the middle of February. But what do I know? Some other shady car lots along the road, huh? That one's got more stuff. But yeah, the weather's been getting nice, you know, but that's only a sign of things to come, probably, because by summertime here, yeah. We start having warm temperatures this early, then there's a good chance we could start having some super hot temperatures by the time summer rolls around. So, 
Yeah, that won't be fun. What's gas? 217? Yipper. Yep, busy at the QT. What's happening at the Shady Car Lot? Oh, we got a couple Corvettes. One convertible, one white one, another convertible, three in a row. How about that? Oh, that's precious. Yep, so heading to my buddy's shop and looking for an excuse to head back down there to hang out for a bit. So, yeah. Getting the tires rotated. I got a new set that's in the shed I've had for, I'm thinking I've had them there for three years because I saw them on Craigslist. I made a video about it when I went to Gastonia, North Carolina to pick them up. And, uh, yeah, they're basically brand new. Bought them for a hundred dollars. So I'll be putting them on maybe not this year, but probably by next year. So alright, let's get around this slow poke. And we'll move on over to my lane that I'm I need to get over. Ooh, camper trailers. So yeah, burr, so that's what's happening today. The old brakes looked at and tars rotated. Not due for an oil change for probably another 1,500 miles or so. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. So about 72,000. So yeah, we're about 2,000 away. So yeah, they'll be opening up in another few minutes. So. Wait for the old signal. All right, come on, make your turn, dude. We're good here. The light's not changing, so. Coolant service, $59.90. Uh, great, this one's going to P2 as well. Might be a busy morning. Till he open. Yeah, while I'm waiting, yeah. One thing that's been going on behind the scenes, well, with my videos, they keep getting flagged. This uh, stupid algorithm that YouTube has with uh, flagging videos that are not suitable for all advertisers. I mean, the last two food reviews I did were like instantly flagged. I mean, didn't even, a couple of them didn't even go live and they were instantly flagged. I'm like, I don't know how that how that works, or why it, why that would even you know happen, or who invented this thing? From what I understand, this algorithm is supposed to be learning, but I tell you what, it seems to be getting more stupid all the time. So, you know, people that do these videos for hobbies or even for a living, you know, it gets pretty damn annoying trying to be politically correct, or you know, YouTube's trying to be you know act like they're political politically correct, but I don't know, it's a bit uh, annoying, so, anywho, yeah, it looks like my buddy's about to pull on in, so we'll go in, get in line, and uh, see what's happening at the shop. See news. So Rocky's not going to come get these anytime soon? He threatened to. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Feel them out. How's the old stain coming along? Cool. <laughs> it looks like we got a Jeep that's been abandoned. Flat tire. A couple low tires. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful. What's up with that uh, Jeep over there? Uh, the yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. What all does it need? Oh, serious engine work? Oh. 
talking like a couple thousand dollars worth. Uh, yeah, might as well scrap it. <laughs> talking about that Jeep back there. Oh man. Yeah. Salute old glory. <laughs> <laughs> How's the old monster 4x4 doing? Oh, I played the carpet on it yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, carpet. Yeah, cool. Uh, Woo! Yeah, it's already got a flat sitting for a while, I guess. <laughs> you use it for hauling your pontoon boat? You gonna use it for hauling your pontoon boat? No, it stays in the water. We'll use it for boat boat, though. Oh, okay. Cool. I was just talking about that coming down here. I was like, man, this weather is just crazy. It's cool now, but it's supposed to get, what, in the mid to upper 60s later. You never know what you're going to wake up to. Nope, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> well, sure enough. Yeah. Should I wear shorts or sandals or? Yeah. Yeah, so that Jeep apparently needs some serious engine work, like a couple thousand. So I'm probably just going to scrap it. You got to have the title in hand in order to do that. So, dropped off last year, and it's broke to did. It's a Jeep Liberty, I think. A compass, oh, just as bad. Wow. Oh well. Probably off to the scrapyard for parts. The tires, what size are those? 17s? Nope, can't use them. Oh well. <laughs> First victim coming in. Oh, better late than never. <laughs> oh, just doing a brake inspection, tire rotation. Yeah, simple stuff. Quick in and out. <laughs> What's that contagious stupidity? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was going on? Some guy drove his vehicle home without the transmission screwed up? He bought that Honda Civic from a customer of ours, nice car. Yeah. He's had no problem with his parking car. Right. And then he bought a 96 3000 GT from some guy up in North Carolina somewhere. Oh, wow. There's nothing wrong with his car. Yeah. That's what he said. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Austin. <laughs> Now he said it look okay. So he buys it. The left front the pull over struts and bend like this in the car. Oh, it's been wrecked. The tires are wore out. Yeah. The engine smokes. The clutch went out on it. Oh, and my then God. he looks up with that one's on the prelude, but he's always moving. <laughs> 92 mark. Yeah. Okay. He finds one in Myrtle Beach for yeah. like eighteen hundred dollars. And the guy's like, man, the same this is so bad. They're like, man, he goes. I mean, don't buy something broke like that. You don't know anything about yeah. it. Yeah, transmission's going to cost. Well, he said that's all that's wrong with it. You still pay 1800 for it? What did he got to tell you about the GT when you bought it? Oh, my nothing God. Nothing was wrong with it. Are you that stupid? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And now he's done bought it. Done bought it, and the transmission's about to go with it. Yeah, apparently it's bad. Oh, it's gone now. Beautiful. That's perfect. I wish I had money to blow like that. Today. Well, the thing is, he don't have no money. Oh, he doesn't? He can't even eat breakfast here in the morning half the time without going and getting pennies out of his car. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's bizarre. Are you doing taxes this year, Rick? Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I forgot to get the key out for you. That's all right. <laughs> Dusty. Beautiful. There you go. Nice shot. <laughs> well, you done that before. Probably. Oh, all right. Oh, sweet. I don't have to worry about those for a while. I just know how I drive, so. <laughs> Everything's looking good on them. about 80. 80%? Sweet. Awesome. That'll last me a while. 
and put the old meaty tires on the front. Maybe last me a year. You're driving your truck like? No. I've actually, it's been sitting so long that when I do drive it, I can feel the flat spots on the tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, that's, I, I'll probably do that here pretty soon because, yeah, last time I drove it uh, about a month ago, and man, it was just blah, 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 blah. You can feel the, the flat spots on the tires, and I'm like, yeah, that's not good. And these tires are still in good shape. I don't need them to start flying apart, you know, from dry rot. So, yeah. This one won't be long. Time to swap it out. Yeah, I got a brand new set in my building. I paid a hundred bucks for them. Yeah, for this van, perfect size. Yep, drove to Gastonia to, to buy them. I mean, yeah, they're basically brand new. I mean, there's at least 80% tread on them. So I was like, yeah, I'll buy those for a hundred bucks. So I'll be popping them on here once I wear these out a little bit more. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, so what do you think of my bumper attachment? Keep from keep from getting rear-ended. <laughs> yeah, he's these people these days texting and driving, man. Last thing I need, but at least I'll try to protect my investment. So you think I got enough brakes to last me a, a little while? A few minutes or, or so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. You don't brake too hard, do you? Um, nah, uh, like, know, like... The way you drive in your videos... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't brake too often. I mean, dude, that, that crap, <laughs> when I'm watching your videos when you're driving, it almost looks like you're turning away from the steering wheel. Yeah. I don't, see, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, this is how I do it. I, I got my hand right here, and I'm just filming. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even look. I hope I'm getting the shot. I'm paying attention to the road, so I'm not even, you know, looking at what I'm recording. So sometimes I'm just missing the shot entirely. But again, I'm watching what I'm doing. So <laughs> yeah, I got to be careful. But yeah, I don't break much. Even you know, animals that run out in front of me now, they don't stand a chance. I rolled a possum like two months ago. It just ran right out in front of me. I couldn't do much about it, so what, at least my tires didn't hit it, but I, I felt it go rolling right underneath, you know, dunk, dunk, dunk. So, um, no, but if I did, I'd probably have to increase the speed to keep that stench away. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. Oh, no way. Oh, <laughs> man. I always think of that song, Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road. <laughs> oh man, yeah, not good. Was the tire pressure a little low? Yeah, about four or five minutes. Yeah, okay. Cool. I hope that'll probably help make them last a little longer. We got a loose screw here. I gotta take care of this daily driver. I don't see much in the way of insects that I've hit lately. <laughs> I don't think I hit anything, but then again, it may have been when I rolled that possum. Who knows? <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. Pop them on Craigslist and see if uh, I can get 10 bucks a piece for them. $40 for the set. Purdy. Oil change done. And there it goes. Awesome. It's kind of funny with that bumper thing on, but hey, it'll work. All right, heading on out. Pretty simple, and the brakes are good for probably several years. 
but uh, yeah, gave me an excuse to come up and hang out with the with the crew. So quick in and out. Now I got the tires on the front that still got a little bit of meat on them. But uh, yeah, that new set that I got, I made a video of that. It's probably about three years ago. I'm gonna have to guess. Yeah, when I drove to Gastonia and I bought a set of tires, went up in my Dodge truck. And it was just too good of a deal to pass up, even though we didn't need tires. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy them. I have them and been storing them in my shed ever since. So. But yeah. So, other than that, yeah, like I was saying before I went into the shop, yeah, some of my YouTube videos. It's like this algorithm that YouTube has been using just flags videos instantly and I don't see what in the deal what the deal is with food review videos uh, somebody lost their cat I guess but yeah that's just annoying yeah you go through these steps to get them to manually review it and of course the majority of mine are no problem they get reviewed by human eyes and oh yeah this video is fine and it gets approved so you know, I don't make much on YouTube. I mean, I wish I was making more that I could, you know, make a living off of, but no, no. I gotta find extra work. And so I was telling my, my friends in the shop off camera that, uh, yeah, the job hunt continues. Still got some prospects, but not, uh, nothing's confirmed yet. And we wait for the Little ends to get on the bus. Yeah, sure, run the right in front of the Jeep there, or the bus there, Jeep. But, yep, like a lot of us YouTubers, we still have to have other sources of income to make a living on. So, what's going on over here? This is new. It's not a storage facility, but no idea what that's going to be. Huh. Check on that as it gets developed. In the meantime, we'll check out some of the old trailers here. Got a lot of trailers and sheds. That's Butamus in the school bus. Alright, continuing on. So, yep, yeah, that's what's happening here lately. Update on things and uh, junk. And we got the green light. Beautiful. Looks like they've come through and did the storm drain work here. I'm going to put the new sidewalk in it looks like. There's the old track and field. Yep. Yeah. Looking good. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if you all have been watching the Olympics. I haven't really been paying much attention. I only catch the highlights of what's been happening and uh, hearing about some of the crashes and all that. Being originally from Buffalo, I know my folks used to go skiing a lot, but you know, that's in the past now and I've never really gotten into skiing at all so not much into dangerous sports other than watching football on TV yeah, looks like we're digging holes here more storm drain work it looks like that's I guess what, what that is a lot of pipage going in the ground and there's another truckload of pipage Wow, that's some serious pipage. <laughs> well, the project continues. All right, we'll take the old scenic route around the big old trees. Yeah, like I was saying before about the weather, it's uh, we wind up having another cold snap like we did back in March last year. 
Man, that was, that just devastated the peach crop here. I think we had 100% loss in Georgia and South Carolina. So, keep an eye on that. Because, yeah, this crazy weather, yeah, see the trees are already starting to bud. So, mm. But, yeah. Might have another 80 degree day, which would be, I think that would be a first in February. So, and again, could be a warning sign of weather to come. And as we got another signal and school bus in front, I'm pretty much about home. So, we will go ahead and probably wrap up this to and fro, getting quick brake inspection and tire rotation at my buddy's shop. So, until the next thrilling video, adios.